Hi, I'm Bahar Tikteshian, editor at large at Shape Magazine, and you're watching our Fit and Famous video series. And today we are joined by gold medalist Tara Lipinski. Hi, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> it's been a while since you know I've seen you in I've actually never We're seen you in 15 person, years old. <laughs> the last time we did really see you a lot was 15 years ago when you won the gold medal. So what's been going on since then? Well, a lot. I mean, lots of skating in between those years and um, now commentating and I'm pretty excited about that. It's definitely a new challenge, but I love it. When you were um, 15, like we said, you won the gold medal and that was such a big part of your life, ice skating. And we all know that that is like such a strenuous discipline. What are you doing these days to kind of stay in shape? Well, I have become a fitness freak because after you skate so many hours a day and then all of a sudden you have all this time off and your body feels it, at least mine did. I was like, oh, I need to like get my muscles in shape. So I definitely love the feeling of working out. Now I hate working out. Like I'm not one of those people that are like, oh, it's so much fun. Like I hate it. It's miserable. But that feeling after is like to die for. So I spin. I do Barry's boot camp. I do like a bunch of different, you know, classes and exercise and yeah, I try to run. I'm not the best runner. <laughs> <laughs> what is it that you don't love about exercise? It just feels like I don't work. No, it just feels like work. <laughs> like I set my alarm in the morning, I'm like, do I really want to go do this? It just feels like work. And then you're pushing yourself, but afterwards that's that's the key. But I feel like someone like you, you have so much discipline after all those years of being a competitive skater. When when it's hard for you to get up in the morning, like what do you tell yourself? Yes, exactly. That's the only good thing. I'm like, Tara, you trained for the Olympics like hours a day. You can go to spin class. It's not that bad. Okay, so you love spinning, Barry's boot camp, sometimes you run. What about figure skating? How often are you on the ice these days? Well, not as much as I would like. Sometimes it's hard to get out to the rink, but really skating is the best workout and I never feel like I'm working out. I never have that that feeling of like, oh, I don't want to do this. It's like fun. So I wish I could be out there more, but I also take like the bar classes, the core strength classes right. they're and so hard. They're so hard, but it really mimics a lot of like the skating moves. Obviously you're a gold medalist. How important is fitness and athleticism to you these days? It's, it's really important. And as I get older, I also, <laughs> you know, I want to be healthy and, um, you know, I, I have my mom doing it. My mom goes to spin with me and oh, that's fun. Yeah, so I like living a healthy lifestyle. It feels good. I think I do it because I feel better when I'm exercising and eating better because sometimes I like my chocolate and my ice cream. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> a lot of the time. A lot of the times, yeah, I'm with you. I mean, speaking of diet though, do you follow any specific diets or are there any nutritional plans that you're on? No, I think that's the one thing, you know, there's so many things that I had to do when I was skating and follow certain diets and this and that, that I've sort of rebelled and I don't want to diet, but I, I definitely watch what I eat and I know if there's a few days of unhealthy eating that I'll go clean and try to do the juice thing or I'll do salads or fish and, and clean it up a little bit. So, you know, when people see you now, what's like the most common question that they ask you? Hmm, that's a good one. Um, I mean, probably like, what are you doing now? <laughs> I know it's been so long. But you're, you've done a lot. You've, I've seen you do some acting. Yeah. You're going to be commentating for NBC for the Winter Olympics. So do you feel like you want to stay with like the TV and the entertainment side of things? I do. I really enjoy what I'm doing now and, and being on that side of it. And, you know, it's nice because it's still home. You know, it's, it's skating and it's, you know, I'm an athlete. So in that world, I feel comfortable. But it's nice. It's nice to like just put the headset on and know that I don't have to go out and do like a triple lutz tonight <laughs> and have that pressure. <laughs> and you know, speaking of pressure, when you know we watch these athletes, especially during the Olympics, you know, as a viewer, we're always wondering like, how do they do it? How do you guys have the nerve? And you know, how do you not lose it when you're on such a large scale? I don't know. And I, I look back and I'm like, I don't know how I did this because all my friends or when I'm you know watching a competition, I'm so nervous for them and I'm like, how are they doing this? But I think what it is. Is you train every day for so many days for so many years and you just you you get to that point where your body just knows what to do right it, it just knows and what do you besides being in you know the arena and seeing the skaters what else do you love about you know commentating um, well I like being able just to watch you know I understand where these girls are coming from I know what they've been through so I'm very compassionate but it, it's nice to also be in touch with like the viewer and let them know what's really happening and and fill them in on on the moves or it, it's nice it's like a good balance 
Exactly. So, you know, in terms of relaxing and kind of taking a break, I know you're super busy with travel, you're bi coastal LA and New York. What do you do when you just want to unwind a little bit? I go to South Carolina. I have a home out there on Kiwa Island and I just wake up in the morning and I put on a swimsuit and I ride my bike and I take my dog out to the beach and I don't do much. <laughs> so you love being in a swimsuit, huh? Yeah, well, it's also I'm <laughs> there alone, but yeah. Well, no, you look great. You should be in a swimsuit. But a lot of us women, especially as you know, bikini season is right around the corner, sometimes we have yeah. like some nerves and stuff. What, what do you do when you want to feel a little bit more confident in your bathing suit? Barry's boot camp. I swear if I do that for a week, changes my life and so, it's so strange my body knows in the winter it's like super fit and perfect and then all of a sudden it hits like March and it's like swimsuit season is coming up <laughs> we're gonna gain a few pounds we're, <laughs> I don't know what it is so now I just I expect that that's gonna happen and then finally you know I, we always love asking everyone about their beauty routines you look fabulous I see you've got the whole natural makeup look going what are some of like your favorite products that you can't live without I could not live without Smashbox the tinted moisturizer it gives you that like fresh look, but not matte. Because exactly. I hate feeling like anything is on my my face, especially when it's like really warm out. Yes, you just can't muggy feel. and gross. No. <laughs> and then um, my Bumble and Bumble surf spray for the beach, the beach hair. Is that what you did today? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's pretty easy. It's, again, that's a perfect item for the summertime. It too. is because I cannot use a, like a hair dryer blowout. That is not my thing. I just I keep it. I damp dampen my hair and then uh -huh. I just spray the Bumble and Bumble and. And that's it. We're so excited to catch up with you. You look amazing. Oh. And, you know, I can't believe it was like 15 years ago when, <laughs> when you were on I'm the old. ice. No, no. You look fabulous. Thank you so much for your time and for visiting. Of course. For more workout tips, celebrity interviews, and tips on shaping your life, go to shape.com slash videos.